All right, welcome back. It is Wednesday, and that means it's time to cook. First thing you want to do, scan the QR code that's on your screen, and that'll take you to a link for today's recipes. Today, because of the cold weather and because it's National Slow Cooker Month, I'm doing slow cooker meatloaf, kind of an Italian meatloaf, but in the slow cooker. And I'll show you how easy it is to put it all together. This is two pounds of a ground beef and pork mixture. I already mixed in uh, some chopped onions and some chopped green peppers. I'm gonna put in some Italian seasoning breadcrumbs because I really wanna get sort of an Italian feeling out of this whole thing. That's why I'm also putting in about a cup of Parmesan cheese. This is fresh grated Parmesan cheese. A few eggs are gonna go in here. Hold the whole thing together. This is salt, pepper, and guess what? Italian seasoning uh, to go in as well. Then, I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. And believe me, hands are the only way to thoroughly get this all mixed up. And you can just kind of feel it already, start to take the texture that you want. I'm gonna put a little more moisture in here. So, this is just good old Heinz ketchup. And some people put tomato sauce, but I like the ketchup mixture better. It's about a half a cup of milk, whole milk, uh, that's gonna go in as well. May as well put the whole thing in. And then just mix and mix and mix. Now, what we're gonna do, you know, normally you would put this in a meatloaf pan or you do it on a sheet pan in the oven. It's a little different when you do it in a slow cooker because once you get the meatloaf in, how are you gonna get the meatloaf out? And I'm gonna show you how to do all that in just a second. But this is pretty complete. I'm gonna take this, throw it on a pan so I can just shape it into a loaf. Give it a pretty good compact feeling. Compact that up a little bit so it doesn't fall apart. And then onto this, it's going to go, this is a ketchup mustard brown sugar mixture. This is gonna go on top of it as well. Now what I had wanted to do, I forgot about it, but wanted to save some of that Parmesan cheese that I had, and I would have sprinkled that on top of it. But here's what you do. Let me get these guys off. But here's what, here's what we do. Let's say that this is your crock pot here. First of all, these slow cooker liners are lifesavers. I put a layer of carrots and potatoes on the bottom, so when I put the meatloaf back on top of it, the grease is gonna fall down into the potatoes and the carrots and not stay on the meatloaf. But here's how you're gonna get the meatloaf out of here. These strips of aluminum foil, just take some, about two feet of aluminum foil and fold them up, put them down into your crock pot, to your slow cooker. Then, the meatloaf itself is going to go in. And then, you know, you can, well, you'll see in a minute how, how you take it out. But here is, I should have the gloves back on again. Let me just quickly put these back on. I just want to lay that in this fake crock pot here, and then I'm going to take the one that I've been cooking for the last eight hours on a low setting. These gloves never go on quickly, but here we go. Erica, almost done. Really interesting television to watch here. Here we go. All right, so then just carefully take your meatloaf and lay it, boom, into the crock pot. And it's set to go. Put it in your uh, slow cooker for, uh, if you're gonna do it on a low setting, which is what I did, uh, do it for eight hours. If you're gonna put it on a higher setting, uh, about four hours will do the trick. All right, and then when you're done, get all this out of the way. Now the moment of truth. First of all, you wanna make sure that your meatloaf is done, and it should be about 160 degrees. 
There you go, look at that, 160 on the button. So it's done, it's perfectly done inside. Take your little aluminum things here and it should, well, almost all of it lifted right out. <laughs> There's a tiny little piece in here that did not. There you go. And then, just slide these guys out. And uh, the potatoes and the carrots, they have on the bottom, these are just nothing but, you know, that's all, all the juices from the meat. I'm gonna take all that, because this is all perfect and ready to serve. The potatoes and carrots go on here. And this is all done in no time. The prep takes no time at all. You set it into the slow cooker, forget about it for, you know, six or eight hours and you've got another fantastic meal for a cold weekend, cold snowy weekend in Chicago. So there you go, recipes, yeah, we've got them for you. If you scan the QR code that's on your screen with your smartphone, you can also go to wgntv.com slash deancooks, or what a lot of people like to do is just <coughs> text the word cooks to 97999, and they get those weekly recipes sent right to them every single week. So there you go, stay warm this weekend with some nice slow cooker meatloaf. Hey Mike. Hey Dean, 